Hello everyone, it's benchmark time. Here it is Google Pixel 7 Pro, Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and Huawei Mate 50 Pro. This guy here is using Google Tensor G2 CPU, this one is using Samsung Exynos 2200 and this one is using Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. So let's make all the benchmarks and compare the results of these three here. Before we start I just want to mention that None of these three is using SIM card, all of these three are connected to same Wi-Fi network and brightness of these three is set to 70%. So they are at equal position, we can just check the recents and start the tests. Ok, let's open on Tutu and it's confirmed. Google Pixel 7 Pro, Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and Huawei Mate 50 Pro. Before we start, you can see the temperatures, CPU temperatures here on Pixel 7 Pro is 27 degrees, here it is 28 and here it is 32 degrees. So the hotter device is Huawei Mate 50 Pro, but let's do the math, start the test and see the result. And that was it, first one finished the test was Huawei Mate 50 Pro, second one was S22 Ultra and third one is Google Pixel 7 Pro, you can see the result, let's check the real temperature, 30 degrees for Huawei, 31 for S22 Ultra and around 30 again for Pixel 7 Pro, these are the results. I was expecting more a higher result from Mate 50 Pro but this is what we get from Antutu benchmark and that's why we are trying to test with three different benchmarks. So the temperature here is increased by uh, 5.3 degrees, here 7 degrees and here it is 5 degrees for Huawei. Very low CPU result for Mate 50 Pro, I'm not sure why. This is, you know, this is the best CPU, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, I don't know why the result is so low. We can check now Geekbench and after that we'll do a 3 d Mark smash test. I will wait the devices to cool down for a minute and we'll continue with the next test. Guys, at the end of the video I have a surprise for you, so stay here till the end. You can see here the only device using Android 12 is... Huawei Mate 50 Pro, but you know Huawei and their EMUI system, they are trying to convince us that uh, they are not using Android, but anyhow, now we can run the CPU benchmark and check the results for the Geekbench 5. Let's do this. And they are finished. Huawei Mate 50 Pro at the beginning was slower, but after that it's catching S22 Ultra and even finish the test first. Let's check the temperatures. 31, 32, 33 and 32 almost for Pixel 7 Pro. Results are very, very different. So what's happened here? The lowest score for single core is for Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, the highest score for single core is for S22 Ultra and Exynos 2200 and here in the middle for the single core is Pixel 7 Pro with Tensor G2. When we check the multi-core results here it is very very different. So the lowest is for a Pixel, in the middle is S22 Ultra and the highest score, very high score is for Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 and Huawei Mate 50 Pro. So these are the results, you can compare them and you can make the conclusion. Pixel 7 Pro, S22 Ultra and Huawei Mate 50 Pro. Guys, just uh, want to let you know that all of these three devices are running on their dynamic refresh rate. That means they, they should be at 120Hz and we didn't enable any, any performance mode for CPU or anything. They are just 
stock as they are coming from the boxes that's what i'm trying to test okay guys i will just leave these devices to cool down and we'll start with the smashing 3d mark test guys i almost forget about the andrew bench we need to test the storage performance so i will run it on these three devices let's do this and we can check the speed sequential read here on the pixel 7 pro is 1666 here on the s22 ultra is 1946 and here it is 1836 something somewhere in the middle sequential right is uh, almost 1000 here here it is more and here it is even more 1270 it is very different probably because these three manufacturers are using uh, different storage components but here random right is more here it is less here it's in the middle and random read again is different just you can compare the results and see what you are interested for for pixel 7 pro s22 ultra using exynos cpu and for huawei mate 50 pro and with that we are done here we can close this application and we can continue with the complete smashing test which is of course 3d mark all of the three devices will do a same smashing 20 minutes complete overhaul for them and i hope all of them will finish that test because most of the xiaomi's which i test didn't even finish the test even oppo find x5 pro which i didn't own now but it is never finished this test it is using snapdragon 8 gen 1 but never finished that test so we will check which of these three devices will finish the test and of course how they will finish the test let's just start it Okay guys, results are ready, let's check for the temperatures, 37.6 for the pixel, 39 for S22 Ultra and 43 for Huawei Mate 50 Pro. First let's check the stability, this is what I'm interested stability the highest stability score is here for pixel 7 pro 77.3 percent that means you can see this this is the graph for the stability that means the stable device here is pixel 7 pro the graph is almost flat you can see how it's going a little bit down and after that it is continued to the end so here the results for s22 ultra it is going higher but dropping a lot and after that you can see it is almost stable till the end here it is very very interesting what's happened here so the device is pushing very hard at the beginning it is going to its best uh, loop score it is 10,000 result and it is flat up to the sixth loop and after that it is start dropping it is dropping going up dropping up dropping up very interesting graph i'm not sure why this is happen probably because of overheating or something so at the first loop it is uh, 10751 and it is like this up to the sixth loop after that you can see what's happened on the seventh loop it is dropping down to 4500 after that 8 loop it is going up again 9 loop down again 10 loop up again 11 loop down 12 loop up and so on and so on and it is going down to the end loop 20 is 7000 what's happened here or on uh, s22 ultra it is almost flat you can see it 
and here on the Pixel 7 Pro it is almost flat. But guys you probably understand the difference. This is a very very big difference in first loop and the power of the CPUs. This first one it is almost 11,000 which is almost twice of this one and this one. So Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 it is very very powerful but it is not stable as these two. This is what we are talking about loop 1 and uh, loop 9 you can see the very big difference this is the biggest difference and here the biggest difference is between loop 1 and loop 20. Here is again loop 1 and loop 20 but you can see on uh, Pixel 7 Pro the difference is not so much and it's not big of a gap between the first and the last loop. Let's check the performance monitoring. What we have here battery is dropping 75 to 66 percent that means 9 percent drop here. Here it is from 88 to 78 again here it is 10 percent and here it is from 93 to 81 which means 12 percent drop. The biggest drop is here and the temperature here it is uh, exploding with 13 degrees going higher and here it is 10 degrees going higher here it is just 9 degrees but you can understand if you have a power horse like this snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 it will go very very high so pixel 7 pro and its tensor g2 just can't go as higher as this cpu that's why the temperature is not going so high and that's why the stability is different. Frame rates here from 20 to 46, here it is from 70 to 54 and you can see what happened here from 14 to 80 fps. So this is a real power horse but probably for a very limited time because it after that it is start dropping. And that was guys the wildlife extreme stress test for 20 minutes for these three devices. Okay guys at the end of the video I have a surprise. I will push one more Antutu benchmark for S22 Ultra and for Huawei Mate 50 Pro. And what different I will do. I will just put their CPUs to the maximum. Here we have processing speed on the S22 Ultra in battery settings I will put it to maximum and here on the Mate 50 Pro I will just enable that performance mod and now I will just push Antutu and we'll check the results. We don't have any performance mode here on Tensor and Pixel 7 Pro, so I will remove it from the test. Sorry Pixel, thanks for being my device. Ok guys, so both devices S22 Ultra and Huawei Mate 50 Pro are cooled down now and they are with their maximum CPU mode and here it is at performance mode. Let's do the test again and check the results for both devices. So you can see at the end what's the result. You can see how Huawei make this device a stable one just by slowing down its CPU. The result now is more than a million. Here it was just like before even lower score but here it is very very high. A lot higher than before and even here in the CPU you can see how different it is. How high the score of Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is now with, with performance mode enabled. Here we have a max CPU mode enabled but there is no difference even the result is lower but here it is very very high. So guys don't believe any review on YouTube. Just keep in mind that if someone didn't explain you well or everything how it is set up its device and how it performs 
it is very different because you can see what happens when you enable performance mode here on Huawei Mate 50 Pro. The result is very very high but this is the score which no one will give you in any review. So that was it for today, thanks for watching and of course if this video helps you somehow and you like it, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.